Hey everyone! This weekend I went to the NSI Games Jam in Sydney, which is a 48 hour game jam at the St. Leonard's campus. I teamed up with my friends Ray and Memia, and we made Super Rollerball. Ray did the music and UI art, Memia did the characters and some of the sound effects, and also a little bit of the UI, and I did the game environment art and all of the work inside of Unreal to get the game working. We did all the as design aspects together and playtesting. This was my first uh, game using Unreal Engine 4. If you saw the video about me switching to it, I've been using the Unreal Engine 4 for about 3 weeks. This game was my first time using blueprints properly and developing a game within Unreal Engine, so it was super exciting, but also very intimidating, as 48 hours is a very short amount of time to learn all these different aspects of the engine and make a game, but I'm really happy with the result. The theme of the game jam was Outer Limits. We had a bunch of different ideas, but decided to go with breaking past your outer limits through growth. In the game, you grow bigger by collecting the crystals, allowing you to break past obstacles. We had many more gameplay ideas, but for a jam, we're beyond happy with what we made. The mechanic was inspired by We Love Katamari, a game that I really like. I'd like to say that blueprints are amazing. I come from a programming background and was able to jump into blueprints and produce a game within 48 hours using an engine I barely know. I received a lot of negative comments about UE4 and Blueprints in my Switching to Unreal Engine 4 video. Now that I think about it, I believe a lot of these comments come from people who haven't used Unreal to make a game, because I had 48 hours without any prior knowledge, and apart from understanding some very basics about Blueprints, um, I barely messed around with them, and I was able to make this. So ignore all those negative comments about people saying, Oh, you can't make a game in blueprints because even though this game isn't the most um, technically advanced game in the world it is a game it has three levels it has a start and end it's a game jam game obviously but like if I could do this in 48 hours imagine if I had a year or six months and yeah it, it was a lot of hard work I took barely any breaks I hit a lot of roadblocks but it was a smooth experience in my opinion uh, the lighting and atmosphere is really fun to make. I really enjoy the post-processing settings in Unreal. And I was shocked about the performance because I was able to put a ton of grass in the game and a lot of point lights, and I had no issues with the draw calls, the performance, anything like that. The level design was inspired by the 3D Mario games and the concept of four-step level design, but I had to tone it down a lot because I only had I only had so much time to make all the levels. I actually only had part of a day to make the levels because it took uh, most of the 48 hours just to get all the mechanics working and to polish them. So in level one, you learn about the crystals, hazards, and movement. It's a safe area and it teaches the player that they can break through the red uh, spiky balls if they're big enough and get damaged if they aren't big enough. They also learn that the crystals make them grow and it's great because you only have these two elements to interact with. Level 2 expands upon the concept by challenging the player with their skills and movement. They have to navigate areas and move in between the big hazards whilst overcoming the smaller ones. Once they overcome the challenge, I give the player a reward by making the bird big and having the satisfying feeling of smashing through all of the objects at the end. And level 3 is more of the same as level 2 just with a different lay level layout. Um, I made this level with 40 minutes left in the jam, so it was super stressful to get in, but I wanted a minimum of three levels. I'm really proud of what we were um, able to accomplish over the 48 hour jam. I really wasn't expecting it to be this much. And after using the Unreal Engine for about three weeks and developing a simple game in it, I'm really happy that I switched over. And if you ever felt like trying out the engine, it's not as big or scary as people make it out to be. And at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you're having fun and enjoying game development. If you'd like to try out the game, it's available on itch.io. And I hope you got something from this video. Thanks for dropping by and checking it out, and I'll see you in the next video.